How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael S.K., and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 7. Uh, before I do a recap, let's just kind of continue along here because I don't want to stare at white. Like, th this is literally a flashbang to my eyes right now, and not really uh, enjoying that. My memory was scattered all over my brain like powder. Okay, so, welcome back, everybody. Uh, what happened in the last episode? So, uh, a few things. One, we're back in school, following Keiichi right now. Uh, two, she owns in our class for some reason. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but if you treat it like Steins Gate, it's like, it's like World Lines, you know, everything is a little different. And there might be a huge similarity in how the plot progresses, but you have like that one minor thing that's just a little different. And that seems to be that. And the huge thing that's notable is that with Keiichi changing fate, we also have him kind of remembering things from other worlds in a very similar vein to what we saw in Chapter 6, which is probably why he gave that doll away in the last episode. So I guess four big things to note there. So let us see now what happens as Keiichi remembers the past. Or not the past, but a past chapter. I believe Chapter 1 because he was remembering when he had gotten those treats, and one of them had a quote-unquote pin in them. I could see myself standing in front of the door. Mion was there, and someone else was standing there too. I think it was Rena. それでミオンのやつ、お見舞いのおはぎだって言って持ってくるんだよ。今日言ってるのと同じで、おばあちゃんが作ったって言ってた気がする。それで。うん、それでそのおはぎを食べるんだよ。二人を返した後に。それでさ、おはぎの中から。ここから先は間違いない。漫画の受け売りだよ。多分昔読んだ漫画のエピソードと記憶が混同してるんだ。そんなことがあるわ
圭一は目の前にあるこのおはぎにも針が混じっているように感じて怖いですかだからさっきから手をつけられない I realized that Mion and Rena were also looking at me. They were wondering why I was staring at the ohegi without eating it. Ah, Kei-chan, ohegi is a bad thing. If it's a bad thing, it's not a bad thing. Mion was assuming that I didn't like ohegi. She felt bad for forcing me to eat something I didn't like. In turn, I felt guilty seeing the sad expression on her face. Ohegi is a bad thing. 中に何か妙なものが仕込まれてるって疑ってるんですよ。I immediately denied Shion's remark. No one else would understand what I'm saying. Even I didn't know. いや、はっきり断言できるぜ。ここにあるミオンのおはぎに。は、ハリーそんなのなんでおじさんが入れるわけ<笑>当たり前だよな。ミオンは確かにおとなしくお見舞いを持ってくるようなやつじゃない。タバスコを入れるとか、そういう冗談はやるかもしれないが。間違っても針なんて混ぜない。And that's exactly what it was. シャレになることとならないことのけじめははっきりつけてる。だから、そんなことは絶対にありえない。I grabbed that o h a g i with my hand. As I brought it in front of my mouth, I felt the need to check it, check it just in case, but I told myself clearly, Hey, you wimp. When are you going to stop being scared of that stupid comic book? Mion brought these o h a g i to treat everyone in the class. There's no way she'd put needles inside of these. I forced that stupid memory out of my brain and munched on the ho- Ohagi, excuse me. Oh, you're not a good guy. 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 My heart had stopped pounding and I felt relieved. The next moment I got the urge to say something to Mion. It wasn't the right thing to say, but I felt like I had to say it. Oh, Mio. Hm? Nani? Oh, Hagi. Um, I got to say. Huh? Ha ha ha. Oki na kaban wa katsui de kita kai ga atta yo. I didn't know why I wanted to tell her again that the Oh Hagi was delicious. But I was glad I said that to her. I was finally released from that odd feeling. Sasa? サトコもケイちゃんを見習ってカボチャをガブリと行きましょうよく煮込んでありますから柔らかいですよシオンさんのお弁当は何を食べてもカボチャが出てくるんですもの私がトラウマになりましたよ<笑>シーちゃんはサトコちゃんのカボチャ嫌いを直すのに頑張ってるんだねシオンも熱心だよねま将来の妹のつもりなのかね<笑> By the time I finished eating my ohagi, we had returned to our usual fun lunch time. Keiichi, もしもですよ。うん、もしもなんだよ。本当に食べ物から裁縫針が出てきたら、どうしますかそんなことあるわけないね。リカちゃん、脅そうったって無駄だぜ。ケイチそれでも出てくることがもしもあったならリカちゃん looked at me with a serious face as I joked around What's gotten into her lately? しつこいぜそんなことは絶対ありえないし信じない I had just overcome my stupid trauma after all that That's why I made that firm statement わかりましたですケイチしつこくてごめんなさいなのですもしも針が出てきたらそれはきっと、ケイチの勘違いなのですよ。ミーが混ぜたなんて、絶対に思わないであげてくださいなのです。ミオンを疑うなってことなんだろああ、当然だぜ。俺は絶対に仲間を疑わないぞ。I raised my fist in the air. Rika chan finally looked happy. She smiled as if she was relieved by my words. As long as we can make sure, or especially Rika, that Nothing can go wrong, and we're not betraying one another or doing stupid things that's going to lead to tragedy. All should be well, right? No worries. We have to change fate and what have you. Drink of the session, by the way, is body armor. Ah, goddamn. 
The items donated for the auction were gathered at the Furude Shrine. Oh, いろいろとあるな。<笑> カタオクレ品とかをあまり気にしないならちょっとは立派なもんでしょ。電化製品に貼り付けてある日焼けした新製品というシールがなんだか愛称を誘いますわね。いやいや、佐藤子。そういうのが逆にポイント高いんだぞ
だいぶたくさんの慰謝料をもらってたらしいそのせいでお父さんは働かなくても生活できちゃったんだよねそれが立ち直りを遅れさせちゃった原因の一つかもしれないそれは一理あるなお金に余裕がなかったら働かざるを得ないそうすりゃ忙しくなって落ち込んでる暇なんかなくなるもんな朝起きて投稿や出勤をして夕方に帰ってきて食事して寝る Yeah, here's an interesting perspective. So, yeah, Keiichi does make a point where if the settlement money wasn't as much as it was and he was forced to kind of, you know, jump back into working in order to live this new life here in the village or back in the village,、uh, yeah, he'd be able to stay busy and he wouldn't be able to find a bit of closure because he'd be so busy to even think about it and eventually we'll just move on. But on the other side, when the, what in reality it was, He was allowed that time to have closure, which means he probably felt more pain. So, which way would you want it to go? Do you want the way that keeps you busy or the way that doesn't? Where if you stay busy, you don't necessarily get close, closure, you kind of just move on. Or you, you take the long winded route, you eventually get closure, and then you can freely get back to life with no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> 乱れると結構堕落するもんです私も学園から抜け出してきた後しばらく無職な生活をしてたことありますからよくわかりますお家に引きこもって一人でうじうじしているのが一番いけませんですそうだねリカちゃんの言う通りだったんだよだからレナねお父さんときっぱり話をしたの課長としての責任とか親としての自立とかそういう話をお互いに正座しながら一晩みっちりと<笑>レナって普段はチャラけてるけどここ一番ではきっちりしてるからな親が相手でもきっちりってのはさすがだぜ<笑>そんなことないよレナも最初はショックだったよだってお父さんなんだか知らない女の人に貢いでるっぽかったんだもんふん娘としてはショックだよそれでレナはどうしたのですかうん一人で悩んでるうちは全然ダメ悪いことばかり考えちゃってだからみーちゃんに打ち明けて相談してみたの、oh, so、she actually spoke to somebody about it. That is different. 私は話を聞いて相づちを打っただけだよレナが自分で考えをきっちり整理して父親とちゃんと話をするべきだって結論したんだよ相談なんてとんでもないいやそういうのは大事だろう人に話すことで悩みってのは結構冷静に考えられるもんだしなふんーそういうもんですかね相談する程度で解決する悩みならその程度だったってことじゃないんですか Oh no 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 don't say that please ことないよしーちゃん私もみーちゃんと話をするまでは相手の女の人を闇討ちしようとか物騒なことしか思いつかなかったもんでもよくよく考えてみればそんなの全然最善の解決策じゃないまず話し合うことから始めないとねそれでレナは話し合ってどうしたのですかうん、お父さんがグダグダしてるのはお金のせいだってことになってね口座を別の銀行に移し替えて通帳と印鑑はレナが預かることになっただからお父さんは毎月私からお小遣いをもらってるんだよ<笑>なんだかレナさんのお家は親と子が逆転してしまってますわね Everyone else laughed along with Sodoko. I wasn't sure if I should laugh, but I saw Rena laughing too. Kekyuk sa, Muyami atarana taikinga Rena no to san o darak sasete ta wakesa. Kinsen kankakuga modoreba, henna o mise ni mo ikanaku narushi, chanto hataraka nakcha ikenai te kini mo naru kara ne. Demo, arewa ii taiming datta. O to san, shiranai onna no hito no mansion no atama kin o harao to shite ru yasaki datta no. 危ないところだったレナが笑顔で話す割にはよくよく聞いてみると
随分ヘビーな話だな一歩間違えば家庭崩壊だったんだよな Fuck yeah, could have. そうだねもしあの時私がみーちゃんに相談しなくてうじうじと今日を迎えていたら今頃きっとうんその女の人を殺そうなんて考えていたかもしれない What a fucking jump that was But it's true Everyone laughed at hearing such a dangerous thing come out of Rena's mouth Well Hate to break it to you all but it, it, She ain't joking Rena laughed too But I saw something serious in her eyes It was probably true that she once thought about murdering that lady. She seduced Rena's father so that she can get money out of him. Knowing how short tempered I am, I might do the same if that happened to me. I think she made the right decision in talking to Mio instead of being irrational. I wonder what was different in this world that allowed her to do so, that allowed her to just talk things out. <laughs> so that's right. みーちゃんに打ち明けようと踏ん切りをつけるにはレナもちょっと時間が必要だった決め手になったのは<笑>夢なの夢ですかふんうんあの頃は布団の中でいつも一人悩んでただからきっと夢の中でまで私は悩んでたんだと思うの。In my dream, I thought about what would happen if, or happen to me if I didn't do anything. I don't know if what I saw was my imagination or a prediction of the future. So maybe Keiichi isn't alone here on being able to see the、uh, other worlds. My dad and I don't smoke, but there was an ashtray in the living room. The futon in our guest room was now hers. In the bathroom, there was a toothbrush and shampoo I'd never choose to buy. It was an unusual sight. Why are you making that expression? Sitako never told me, but I'd heard that she'd also lost her parents. I'd heard that she went through tough times when she was taken in by her aunt and uncle. Someone told me about that once. Sadako seemed to understand Rena's pain very well. Um, Yeah, usually you can realize you're a murderer after you commit murder. It's,、uh, it's a pretty quick realization. Also, back on that dream thing, have you guys ever had a dream where like, you realize that you're dreaming and that you can only communicate with those in your dream while you're dreaming? So you have to try to keep dreaming, or else you won't be able to communicate with those in your dream. And the only way you'll be able to communicate with them again is to get that exact dream in that setting again. That happened to me last night or this morning or whenever I was asleep. It was fucking weird. It's,、uh, it was like sleep paralysis in a way because, like, I kind of wanted to wake up, but something was urging me on to just not wake up. The point of that ramble, by the way, was that, yeah, dreams can be fucking weird. その場を離れたら誰かに死体を見つけられちゃうような気がしていつまでもいつまでも嫌な未来だな夢の中だけで済んでよかったと思うぜ Yeah, honestly Let's keep it as a dream あれは夢だったのかな私はねあれはきっとそのまま何もしないでいたらきっと迎えた未来なんじゃないかなって思うのだから翌朝目が覚めた時とても怖くて震えが止まらなかった私とお父さんの家なのに知らない香水の匂いがするような気さえしたそしてその夢が現実になるのが来年なのか来月なのかひょっとしたら明日なのではないかとどんどん怖くなったの
そこまで追い詰められたらもうみーちゃんに打ち明けるのにためらいはなかったね Okay, I see. So, with two events here, fate has been changed because of intuition or having memories that they believe are dreams that push them to make different decisions. Keichi, he gave the stuffed toy to、uh, Mion, sorry. He gave that stuffed toy to Mion because of something. He knew it was the right thing to do. He knew something about the Ohagi,、uh, more of a vivid memory there. Or, or dreamlike memory. And same thing for Rena, where a dreamlike memory of sorts, where she thought of a future that could potentially happen, which is, you know, that's true, honestly, prevented from taking action. Rena got a lot of shimmy on the call, and I saw the soda and I saw the soda. I saw the soda and I saw the soda and I saw the soda and I saw the soda. まあ実際、今だから笑い話だけど、当時は本当に笑えなかったね。Yeah, I can never go to my parents and say, like, hey, I got something very serious to talk to you about, because that seems to be a very common one where it's like, ah,、oh, shit. みーちゃんは本当に頼りになったよ。落ち着いて私の話を聞いてくれて、現実的な解決の糸口を探ってくれた。それで、やっぱり親子でちゃんと話さないとダメだっていう、当たり前の到達点にたどり着いたってわけそれは夢ではなかったかもしれませんですよ<笑>そうだねただの夢じゃなかったのかもしれないねもしその夢を見なかったらレナはミオンに打ち明けなかった可能性もあるもんなレナの人生を決めた重要な夢だぜ夢か Oh, do you have something to share with us, Shion? Anta mo yume o miru n da. Eh? Shion had said something in a small voice. Only Mion picked up on what it was. I don't know what she said, but based on Mion's reaction, she must have said something serious. By the way, Shion usually went to school in Okinomiya. However, she'd been coming to the school in Hinamizawa lately. I didn't know why she chose to come this far, but she seemed to be having fun taking care of Sotoko. I had no idea what brought Shion and Sotoko together. Oh, okay. I, I think I'm kind of getting it here because Shion had some sort of premonition that she needed to take care of her. What we saw at the end of chapter five. Aha.、Uh -huh. Wait, weren't they on bad terms once? Huh? Is that true? Were they always that close or not? Hmm? だから思ったの人と相談するのはとても大事 You goddamn right. We'll have fun in a normal way. We'll laugh together in a normal way. And we'll fall in love in a normal way. We won't doubt each other. We'll trust each other. That's the chapter six line. ただの遊び友達じゃない本当に大切なことを打ち明けられる重要な存在なんだって<笑>そんな当たり前のことに気づいたのそうだなだとしたらレナにとっては親子の問題を解決しただけでなく仲間の重要さにも気づけたわけなんだなうんだから私も誰かが悩みを持ったら相談に乗りたいし絶対に力になりたいだから私が打ち明けるに足る仲間だと信じてほしいみーとても大切なことをレナが言っていますです。リカちゃんは正しい。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っていますです。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。みんなは言っています。The lady knocked on the door. I could hear several other people outside the door. Ah, go me na sai! Ima, ge mas! Mion replied in a loud voice and walked toward the door. I heard her, I heard her greeting the ladies from the town council. Joto, me na! Teo ka ste kureru? Nanda, nanda, do sta? I immediately saw why Mion called us over. The people from the village committee had brought another donation. It was an old cupboard. 
We all helped to carry it inside the room. As I walked through the door, I realized the Higurashi were starting to cry, taking over from the cicadas. Bad he is, but I am unfortunately out of time to continue this uh, recording session. So this will be a short one. I apologize for that, but I will hopefully make it up in future episodes. I tend to do exactly that, or at least I like to think I do. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.